What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. But it's a little special because it's news time. The devs have dropped a dev blog with some spicy information in it. Uh, it's update time, guys. It's that time. The special time for all of us where we get to uh, like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe. I actually get to... I get, I, this is so perfect because it's a perfect video to do it in. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm not, you know, I want to get into the news, but I never ask this. I'm the worst YouTuber. But if you like what I do and you're already here and you're watching me all the time, what do you got to lose? It helps me, supports me, especially liking, by the way. Subscribing, hell yeah, thumbs up. Liking the video is huge. So hit the like button. Okay. Uh, so into the news now. Uh, if you don't, you're welcome. Okay, I thought you were about to threaten people. Um, so yeah, I got my Twitch chat here. Um, we're gonna read this together. Can you actually let me make sure it looks okay on the screen? Um, I could maybe stand to move chat over. Let me do that actually. Let me uh, move chat over just a little. You guys can be over here now, where you belong. I'm gonna throw you guys. Are you ready? Wait. Okay. Are you ready? Huh! Yeeted. All right. Let's go. It's time. Um. This is the dev blog starting now. <laughs> uh, dev blog supporter Murdoch. Hello, little skeletons. The nickname Murdoch had been uh had been our biggest patron during our fundraiser. However. He has been listed as TBD to be determined from the official launch of Skull up until now. What this is jumping the gun a little bit. What what they should have led with is when they did their initial fundraiser for the game, they had a tier where you could um, give them a Skull idea and they would implement it into the game. And this was before, like back in the alpha days. So this has been floating for a very long time and they haven't done anything with it until now. Um, uh, as a crowd... Oh, wait. I jumped the gun. <laughs> it's right here. I'm a fucking idiot. As a crowdfunding reward, we at South Park Games decided to create an original skull in honor of Murdoch, but the project had been on hold until recently. Um, Murdoch wanted to create a skull that not only respected the game, but also uh, was also well designed and fitting for the game. Therefore, Murdoch mentioned that he needed time to gain a higher understanding of the game and come up with a better uh, with better ideas, and we respected his decision and chose to wait. As both we and Murdoch had to focus on our respective tasks, more time passed than anticipated. However, we both have not forgotten about the project, and finally, Murdoch's uh, commemorative skull has appeared in the land of Harmonia. This, uh, the name of this skull is the Dominator. So here's our little buddy here. This is uh, our little Dominator pal. New skull being added to the game. Uh, very cool stuff. It's a legendary speed type skull that uh, uses a living evil sword, a demon skull. So it's actually a reference to the in-game item, uh, Evil Sword Carrion, which as we all know, is one of the most powerful items in Skull the Hero Slayer. So this guy has to be powerful too, right? <laughs> Berserker has always been an honorary speed skull, so we basically got it now. That's actually, I always make that joke. And here, <laughs> yeah, here's, our, here's Berserker speed skull for him. He does look a lot like the Berserker, but also, ah... Uh, I don't know. I think people are being like I saw. Some, I saw one person. I guess I shouldn't say people. One guy I saw on the Discord say this is uncreative. Hell the fuck no, it's not. This is fucking sick as fuck, man. This is awesome. This is cool, and it, also it's it's distinctly different from Berserker too. Just because he has the horns, I think, and he's like stocky. He kind of has like the devil Berserker colors too, but that's really it, honestly. Like, I don't know. I don't. I, one person i'm getting one guy but still that one guy was wrong this is a really cool fucking uh, skull design um the dominator uses the power of the evil sword to leave a scar in the air to attack enemies and the evil sword absorbs vital energy from uh those hit by the scar so it's another one of those meter skulls where they have a meter underneath their um underneath the like hp bar or whatever and you build up the meter and then he transforms into something else which in this case it's this uh, when the evil sword has been absorbed, maximum vital uh, has absorbed maximal, uh, maximum final energy. I can't speak. The dominator can awaken the evil sword. Where the evil sword, when the evil sword awakens, it temporarily cannot use skills, but its movement speed increases significantly, and its basic uh, combo attack changes to it, incessantly swing the evil sword in a madness motion right where it stands. That's interesting. Um, so he can't move. That's problematic. I'll say that much. Uh, doesn't condemn the skull to being bad or anything, but that's very problematic. I mean, how the hell are you not going to move against 
Dark Skull, for instance, right? You gotta be able to move out of the way of his attacks. Apparently, he can attack infinitely. So it's like an auto basic, uh, where you hold down the mouse and he um, he attacks. He has to have like some kind of damage reduction or something when he's doing this. I would imagine, at least I would hope. Um, when the evil sword returns to its slumber, the skull a uh, skill cooldown speed increases for a certain period of time, proportional to the number of times enemies were attacked with madness. That's cool. That's like a new unique effect that's never been implemented into the game. We are truly happy to finally create the skull for our beloved little skeletons and patron Murdoch. The next 1.9.0 update will include the Dominator along with some other balance adjustments and bug fixes. We are targeting April 4th PT for the update schedule, which will be April 3rd for me, <laughs> which is dope. Uh, we look forward to the continued interest and support and hope you all have a wonderful day. One thing though, this implies that like, I remember I was dooming when they said the final update. The wording of this update implies like they're not done with this game, like, which I didn't think they were. It's hard to say what the future of this game holds, but like there's still more. Like they're still adding to this game. Like this the wording here is is pretty uh pretty precise, I would say. Uh he will probably hate swap. We'll see. Uh do we know if it's just for PC on the April 4th update? Probably, guys. Uh, console always lags behind. I don't think you guys will have to wait as long as you did for like uh the Myths DLC to come out. But you guys will probably not get it on April 4th if you're on console. Yeah, like they're always uh, super far behind. What if they also balance fix champ on the 4th? <laughs> they're not, guys, they're not going to. I know it's nice to dream, but it's not going to happen, guys. His creator hates swap. How do you know this? Is he a YouTuber? I, I think that's what Dom Q said, um, is that he's like a, a content creator. Because I remember Dom Koo, like, announced this in the Discord before, um, <clears throat> before Southpaw did. Uh, Champ's best run is now dash items? Probably. Um, even then, though, I still don't think it's enough to help him, but... And even then, I don't know, because, like... The whole point in, um... <clears throat> I don't... I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is, like... Every skull can use dash items, basically. Tackle dashers obviously are worse at it, but, like... I don't know. Well, uh, maybe I'll have to try it out. As long as there aren't 50 billion items added, we should be fine. Um, Slayer would be a better name for it, in your opinion. Um, well, I mean, Dominator is cool too, but I do agree Slayer would be cool. In fact, I just kind of wish it was named Murdoch. Because Murdoch's like a really cool name for a skull. <laughs> um, uh... Weird thing I can refresh his dashes. Yeah, but that's inconsistent, dog. Need the lore for this demon? Uh, I'm sure there will be, like, a sentence of lore that we get. Maybe from reading, like, his his skill descriptions, you get a little taste. But, like, the, the flavor text underneath him will have, like, some, some lore. Um, but, yeah, it's not a lot to chew on, which is why I think I'm just going to put this alongside a normal run. But it is exciting, and there is more than just Mur or uh, Dominator being added to the game. They're doing balance changes and bug fixes as well. And personally, I'm specifically excited for balance adjustments because, um, like as we all know, Officer and and King Arthur are pretty underwhelming. So it's going to be nice to hopefully, in an ideal world, see them be changed. Okay, that's problematic. Uh, my, it's not going to matter when we're playing Skull, but my mute button on my OBS is one and that like sent the page careening downwards. But yeah, uh, interesting stuff. Does anyone have anything cool to add on here that I missed? Because, uh, you know, I don't want this to run too long, but it is exciting and it is nice to linger on it. I mean, he looks fantastic. Like he looks incredible. It's a really cool looking Skull. Um, I love the tie in with the evil sword Kyrian. Like it's super fucking sick. Hope they change the rake. What's the rake? If they nerf invisible knife, you're gonna combust. I don't think they're going to. <laughs> Suwani is the only one who kept the creator's name. He looks like a stud. Very sly uh, comment. Him plus double Kyrian. Well, I'm definitely gonna rig him. Like, actually, hang on. Um, for one, I have to cough. But also, um, I have a feeling you're going to have to buy them in the Dark Quartz shop. Or, like, the black market. Like, because that's how you unlocked some of... Isn't that how you unlocked, um... 
Stone Monkey and Gravedigger is you bought them in the Dark Quartz Black Market. Because if that's the case, I won't have to rig him. But if if um, if um he is in the natural spawn pool, I'll just spawn him in with the dev menu. Because fuck it, I want to play him. Davy Mage, Gravy, and Monkey. So yeah, he, 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 he may be in there. It'd be nice to get a guaranteed run with him. Yeah, that's what I'm suspecting, is you'll have to buy them with Dark Quartz, but who knows? Because, like, that's not how it worked with the the Myths DLC skulls. Uh, new adventurers, not bosses, not regular enemies, and some fucking adventurers. I would love to see some adventurers, too, because there's, there's a lot of archetypes that are unexplored. I know um, I Bear Attack is working on a monk, which is going to be cool to see. Uh, he, he can't implement it into the game, but he's, like, making the art for it, so. He could also be there for free. Wait, where? Where do you think he's going to be? Yes, it is stuck to his arm. <laughs> it's so cool. I love the f I love the design. I don't know if Murdoch designed it or if he just came up with the concept. Like I don't know how much uh say he had over it, but it's really fucking cool. Um very well done. If he sprited this, he's incredible. I have a I don't know if he did that. If he did the concept, even if he did the concept art, it's cool. In place of the DLC skulls? I doubt that, but maybe. They're, the sprites are next level. I mean, Southpaw is incredible. Whoever their art guy is, which it's on the website, but who, he's very talented, obviously. New items? Uh, maybe. Uh, they didn't say it here. I don't know if they'll do that. Because um, usually they're pretty upfront with the shit they add, but it could. Who knows? All right. I think that's all we really have to say. Um, I'm going to do a normal run after this, so, you know, just thought I'd clue you guys in, because not everyone's in the Skull Discord, not everyone's following Southpaw's social media, so sometimes it, it goes past people, so, figured I'd tell you guys what's up, show you guys this cool new little friend that we're going to have in the game soon, he looks sick as fuck, I'm very excited to play him, alright, into a normal run, good shit. Uh, sad the Dominator is a legendary. Not for me. I play. I, I get legendaries fairly frequently. Uh, like I don't know. If you play the game enough, you'll find them. We'll be able to find him. He'll show up. And like I said, I'm rigging him. Like if he does, if he, if he's not purchasable in the uh, dark market or whatever, the black market. That's a way better way to describe it. But if he's not purchasable there, I'm just gonna hack him in for my first run. Because of course I'm gonna play with him. Another one for the pool. Honestly, when I do quint runs, I'm doing Heritage Plus, which, uh, which does... I yeah, true. <laughs> true. Yeah, that's a good point. So, I don't know. It's just like... the I don't even... I think the, the devs secretly just don't like quints. I think they think the mechanic is bad or something. And they don't really add a lot of um, stuff around it. Like a lot of synergy and run building around quints. Which I disagree. I think quints are good, but obviously, like, like I'm, I'm pretty notorious for uh, not liking orc and taking like, like support quints instead. Kaboom punch swap is fun. What's kaboom punch swap? If possible with dark beads or, or beads of darkness and hand of destroyer. Oh, okay. Uh, why, why dark beads? I mean that's not that's not terrible i guess it's a bit like unsynergistic but i'm not against it owie i don't know why did i grab this almond it's not very good okay <laughs> this is an actual nightmare why do i have this fucking omen this probably should go. Like, with, with early game bomber, this is just strictly, like, gonna get me killed. Decide. Maybe. It might be. I'm not saying it's not. However, I'm not taking it. You guys did this. I'm a stubborn man. If you guys had brought it up once, I probably would already have played with it and been like, hey, maybe I was wrong about Decide. It's actually kind of good. But you guys... Won't stop talking about it. And at this point, it's spite-driven. Like, I... 
I can't take it at this point. It's just I can't I can't let streaming guy win. Please don't take the side. I'm not. Don't worry. I thought you were one of these crusaders. You seem you you have like sanity left. You're not one of these crusaders in my YouTube comments. Like streaming guy always has the most upvoted comment and it's just take the side. It will be reworking so I won't play with it. That's not true. If it got reworked, I would play with it. <laughs> I would just at that stage I would be like, eh, fuck it. Fuck it, streaming guy wins. Your psychology would work oh oh so you are one of these fucking crusaders screw you guys man screw you guys i'm never taking this side unless they rework it which i don't think they will they don't seem to care about omens they're like omens are fine which i guess omens are fine actually got tricked no i'm too smart i got the opposite of tricked which is not tricked. They really want you to willingly torture yourself. Yeah, well, th no, these people actually think it's good. And here, here's the thing. It might be. I don't know. Like, it could be good. I just, I'm not taking it because <laughs> I'm just not. I'm not taking it. It is good. Well, the thing is, the amplification is good. That's the only thing that's good about it. Everything else about it is terrible. The displacing you on the map, I don't care what you say, that is horrible. And uh, Hidden Blade is the worst inscription in the game. So, there's a lot of reasons to not want to side. Oh my god, why? That's like, man, come on. I'll still take it, but it's not good. Good luck, man, I'm leaving you here with the Crusaders. Alright, Steak, thanks for being here. Have a good rest of your evening, day, whatever it may be. It's a skill issue. You always say that. Alright, I'll take the invisible knife. You got me. You got me. I've done five decide runs and none have been good because decide. <laughs> yeah. The thing that, that makes me curious is the amp though. Because it's like a lot of amplification. Like that's a huge amount of amplification to put on an item. My nose is killing me, man. Can a man itch his nose in peace in this fucking game? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Please stop. Okay, yeah. We stopped him. Nice. And of course, the glitched out warrior barrier stopped him from getting kaboomed. I hate that effect. Like, it's so annoying. Okay, that was just a good dodge. I can't even be mad about that. Honestly, impressive. Good one, ninja. Didn't dodge that, though. What's up, Thund... Thundaku? Welcome, man. What about the side with Thief Backstab? I don't even... That's like too much chaos. Way too much chaos. I don't like that. Hey, mi amigo. Say K. Uh, English only, please. Though that was like a mixture. Like a Q stick? What the fuck? What are you talking about? Like pull? Oh, Q. Oh, <laughs> okay. I see ya. I see ya. Thun... Oh, Thunda-Q. Thunda-Q. Is that better? Thunda-Q? <laughs> I said English only. You were trying to... <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid, man. Excuse my ignorance, man. <laughs> I thought... I didn't know what you were fucking talking about, man. <laughs> like a barbecue, but Thunda. I'm notorious with getting names wrong. That's just a part of the experience.
All good. <laughs> I personally, but Hannah would say Deity Homicide. Wait, what are you guys talking about? Wait, Autor's doing that thing again. Remember when I said earlier, start making sense? Now you're back to not making sense again, dude. The real unintelligible language hacks it when you're sick. No, that's just me being fucking dumb. I would do that if I wasn't sick either. Like, I'm just stupid. Missed the combo? Probably. I mean, there's a lot going on in chat. There's 30 of you guys here. And at least, like, 5 or 6 of you are chatting, so. I don't get how the big streamers read their whole chats. Like, there's people who have chats that go, like, a million miles an hour, and they still read the chats. It's crazy. Do I take a nether mana suppressor? I mean, I am trying to build mixed damage. You know what? I will take a nether mana suppressor. Wait a second. I never noticed that it darkens and, and brightens whenever you're like in the air versus on the ground. That's cool. Jinxy? I don't know who that is. Does or doesn't read the chat? They don't? I mean, some do. The good ones do. Inc not including myself, because I just, you know, said that I don't read my chat enough. So I'm I'm including myself in the bad category. That's how you know I'm honest. That's how you know you can trust me. Please, no, don't regen. Okay, thank God our kaboom is strong enough. Uh, is this a skull room? Probably not. Streamer of the year? Really? That's cool. I There's a lot of streamers I don't know. Like, a lot. Obviously. Like, it's hard to know everyone. Aw, oh, come on, man. You ain't bad. Aw, oh, shucks. Really? You, you really mean that, man? Maybe I'll be streamer of the year this year. Who knows? Swapping even when it's not the best decision. That's what's up, baby. That's how you know you're watching Haxa. Uh, we're going to leave the remaining one in his cage. Trust is only earned by using Decide. Shut up. Wait, you're one of these fucking Crusaders, too? I'm tired of y'all, man. Y'all suck. You guys are the... The reason you haven't seen me use Decide yet is because of the Crusaders. You thought it was funny? Yeah, right. So, pe You're probably one of the people liking streaming guys' comments under the fucking YouTube videos. Like, it's always by far the most upvoted comment, and there's, like, so many compared to, like, the normal amount of upvotes that comments get under my videos, so... Y'all are fucking crazy, dude. Anti-Crusader? No, me! I'm an anti-Crusader. I only like my own comments. Very streaming guy behavior. You know, I say everyone becomes streaming guy in this community. Um, you were one of the few exceptions, but now I'm starting to have doubts. I think even Piplip can become streaming guy. Uh, this is good. No duh, I mean in chat. Oh, well, I'm in chat. I'm reading chat. I've embraced it. Wow. Crazy. You used to like all your- Yeah, because I called you out on it. I fucking got your number, dude. I hacks. I think you meant to say hi hacks. What's up, yo yo? You hack? Dude, what the fuck? That's that's rude. Maybe the real streaming guy was by the way, I wanna just point this out. <laughs> I probably shouldn't encourage it, but it's so fucking funny. I, I never pay attention to the welcome channel in my Discord. I looked in it today, and every time someone leaves my Discord server, you, like, reply to them with a stupid image. Like, 
I don't know why, but that shit had me laughing so hard earlier. I never noticed it until today. It's so dumb. I, got, I probably shouldn't encourage you to do it, but it's so stupid. What have you missed? Uh, well, we uh, new updates coming out. That's like a really big deal that you potentially missed. It's pretty funny, yeah. I fuck. I was dying laughing at the Ice Age image. I don't know why. <laughs> that shit fucking had me cracking up. When? Uh, April 4th. There's a new skull coming. Uh, check the official skull Discord server. It's also in my Discord server. In somewhere in the skull channel. I probably should pin it, but it's not get. I don't know. I guess I don't need to pin it. But um, they probably posted about it on their Twitter as well. Some of your favorite things to do. It's just like so dumb. Cause it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it's funny to me, but it is. All right, we're definitely not getting out of the hood without seeing a Yiggy all here. Hey, 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 whoa, hey, whoa, hey. Fucking relax. Ah! I'm trying to get myself killed out here. But I, of course, at the end of the day, it's just min-maxing for uh, World Tree Seed. Dominator? Yeah. Maybe they're... Oh, I read that. Okay. Uh, oh my god. Of course it's behind the fucking thing. Why wouldn't it be? It's like, you really want me to work that hard just to get a stupid world tree seed? I'm taking this, the multidimensional prism. Like, I don't care about a world tree seed that hard. Why? They, the devs need to, like, fix that. It's such a ridiculous thing that can happen. I don't even know if they could fix it. But, like, it'd be nice if they did. Another shyness, by the way? We just did shyness. I'll do it again, though. Fix what? That the world tree seed can appear behind the, uh, the healing orb in the Yiggy chest. It's like... It just... It makes no sense. It's such like a minor nuisance that is just like you, you have to be a special agent to get it and get the min-max value. It's so annoying. Ah! Okay, this bomber needs to... I need to upgrade this guy as soon as possible. What was the last run? Uh, Genie and Hercules. Wait. What? So there's this asshole. I don't know who he is or what he's doing, but he gave my number to two people now. Sort of political cult? I don't know what you're talking about, dog. But it sounds like you're straying into potentially controversial territory be careful about what you talk about but um i hope that's not happening to you because that 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 is horrible um just uh be watch yourself you know be careful such a small problem they probably won't fix it yeah i don't think they will either but it is very annoying and it happens to me a lot. Further proof that the game is sentient. Uh, you know, they seemed more confused than I was. Well, maybe it's the wrong number. I remember my friend used to get, um, I don't know if you guys are going to know who this is, but there's like a televangelist, um, named Peter Popoff. And my friend used to get like, um, get like the scam mails from him. I remember we read one together one time and it was so fucking funny. You've returned darlings. Welcome back, darling. You southern bumpkin. I wonder if the wings allow you to get even more momentum with Kaboom. I don't know. 
Not gonna find out. At least... Maybe? Um... I mean, we're only rare bombers, too, is the problem. Uh, Southpaw should make Invisible Knife combined with Gunpowder Sword. Yeah, please. Come on. That's gonna be in the... I, like... Accidentally, like, swung my hand and it hit my freaking space bar. But, um... It worked out, so it doesn't matter. But, uh... That's gonna be in the next fucking community items fucking pack. Make a nuke item that just explodes everything in the entire run, and then you just run through the entire run with no enemies to fight. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but also come get your dindins. Oh, what could be over here? Whoa! Viz knife plus gunpowder sword plus crown of thorns scaling. Buy the flask? What flask? What are you talking about? When I asked, hey, can you give uh, me the number of this person? The second person was like, what political party do you follow? It could just be a census. You, you, they could be pollsters. You don't know. Like, I don't know. What the fuck? Dude, that's cr that's crazy! No way! Forget about it. You re-rolled. Which flask was it? Was it a uh, skull? Like uh, to, to exchange the skull with the headless NPC? Or was it purple flurp or one of the drugs or whatever? Ow! Hey, enough is enough. Stop beating me up. Uh, what's crazy is your hairline? Yeah, crazy good. Bitch. Came back at a wild time? Why? Things are pretty normal. Uh, unless something wild is happening for you, but like, this run's normal. This is standard fucking Skull the Hero Slayer shit. Skull? Okay. I mean, it ended up working out because we got Fulgent on. And if I had bought that flask, we wouldn't have Fulgent on. At least, I'd have to, like, sell something to get Fulgent on. Hairline W, literally. Hey, no, 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 no. I have a... A, a... A fucking underscore hairline. It's a perfect straight line. The best hairline of all time. Everyone's saying it. Alright, we can finally upgrade our freaking bomber and actually not feel like shit for once. Whoa! What's up, Katara? I'm so excited! Damn, he's fucking popping off. Are you talking about the update? The new skull? Or are you just like fucking hopped off your gourd on uh on monster energy drinks? If they released a beta version of the update on April 1st. I mean a beta version they didn't even release a beta version of the fucking myths DLC. <laughs> energy drink 2? Dude, he's losing his mind! BRB, I'm going to check these patch notes. Patch notes? What do you mean? Did they release something? Wait, what? Hang on, let me look. Are you just talking about the dev blog? I have no new ads. Oh, uh, I don't like that. Mid dev blog. Okay, gotcha. Because I was about to say. I, it'd be nice if they released some patch notes before they released the actual update. But usually they release it on the same day they release the update, so. 
I don't expect we'll be getting any patch notes before uh, they actually release it. Did I pass up Beads of Darkness yet, by the way, Autor? I hope I did. I, I literally slipped my mind until just now that I'm supposed to be looking for Beads of Darkness. And just stun stuff in general. Skull server. Yeah. Uh, it's also in my server. Um, but, like, the easiest way to find it is just go to the Steam and go to the, um, like, look at the, the latest post. And it's right there. And I also imagine it's on their Twitter and stuff, so you can find it in a lot of places. Uh, the base damage of Crown of Thorns is... Uh, at, after 8 9 seconds, it starts doing almost 2x its uh, base damage, and the Masterpiece version is slightly more than 2x. Um, okay, let's see if we can find some stun stuff. Arms Brawl is a good prince's box. Um, I like it more than this. Uh, this could be good with a uh, Kaboom Bomber. Um, we don't need Invisible Knife. It's not very good on uh. On bomber, it's good on Minotaur, but let's buy Brawl. Brawl is also good on Minotaur. Is the only legendary? Yeah. Um, that's all we know. But there's also going to be balance changes and um, bug fixes as well. And I imagine we're going to get like a probably some upgrades for Officer and um, and King Arthur. They, we might even get some gargoyle changes because like they did that tier list where they like asked the youtubers uh to do tier list for them and like almost all of them put gargoyle in the fucking bottom so like gargoyle might get some real big changes in the uh in the upcoming patch champ getting buffed i doubt it but maybe they did change him in the most recent um update and it wasn't enough they're not addressing the problem with champion that's like they don't seem to understand why he's bad, is the problem. Like, they keep changing him, but they don't change the right things. Looks like to be the best skull in the entire game. I don't know if I'd go that far. Are you talking about, um, the new one? Because, like, we don't know anything about him, really. I have... Uh, yeah, Dom I have some reservations about what I saw of Dominator so far. I talk about it in the, um... In the video I'm going to put out tomorrow. But, uh... I don't like that he's stuck in place when he's casting his basic attack in his transformed uh, form. I think that's a bad thing. Or at least it can be a bad thing. It can also be a good thing if they do it right. But, like, being stuck in place and not being able to move is one of the worst things that can happen in Skull. Um, so like, like imagine being stuck and not being able to move against Dark Skull. And it seems like the entire mechanic of the skull is based around this. Like the longer you, you, uh, cast your basic without moving, the stronger his, um, his like stat gains are. As long as he can dash cancel. And then there's also that wind up he has before he starts casting his basic. It's like in the end game of skull, there's... I mean, things are so fast. Like, as soon as you get to Dark Hero, you don't have the luxury of standing still anymore. You have to almost always be moving. So, like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if he's uh, good. I think he probably will be... Like, he seems like he's going to have good damage. I don't think that's going to be his problem. If he has a problem at all. Like, I, I'm not... Like, it's just speculation. Everything is speculation right now. Like, when I first saw Hercules, I thought he was going to be terrible because uh, he had, like, um, very long animations in his uh, in his skill casting. I was like, he's going to need Mana Tech 3 to even be functional. But then it turned out he was just invincible during all of his fucking skills. So, like, you know, it, 
First impressions are only first impressions. We can get rid of that at this point. He will be super fast. He looks slow. You know what will be good, and it probably will work, is if you can um, speed up the animation of when he's winding up his basic. Like, if you can make that go faster, that will be a significant way to make him good. Uh, zero percent attack speed, yes. Um, hey, I'm on, one second. Okay. Um, he did blind. What? Skip hand of the destroyer. Oh, well. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh what did i break because i can just spawn it in um but i don't know what i broke but i'm getting more you know what fuck it we'll find it again um as for this i don't even know what i want here um there's really nothing here I care about. You know what? I'm just going to keep it open. For whenever Haxon is just blinder than a blind man. Don't listen to him. Don't fucking listen to him. Don't do it, Buck. I knew from the beginning that Hercules would uh, have iframes on grabs because it would make sense. Or it wouldn't make sense. Well, Officer doesn't make sense. And he still exists. So it's not like the devs are flawless decision makers. Sometimes they make skulls that fundamentally don't work. So, while you're not wrong, it wouldn't make sense. That doesn't mean the devs wouldn't do it. So, like, I don't know. Like, I'm glad that they made Hercules correctly, because he's a very good skull. But, like, there's a lot of skulls that have, like, fundamental design flaws. Like Champion. And he's been this way since 1.4. And then you have, um... You have, uh... Gargoyle, who has permanent ice physics, and everyone hates him because of it, which might be changing in the up it might be changing in the upcoming update. I, I, I would be shocked if uh, Gargoyle doesn't get some changes. Uh, uh, I like Skull, which is the worst Skull to ever be made. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't even know what that means, man. Also, plate armor, disgusting. Be gone, foul plate armor. Little bone is terrible. That's what he means. Well, I, the thing is, it's a streaming guy comment, so he's just saying things. Like, we all know this about him. He just speaks. It doesn't matter, like, what he says. Like, he just, he just says things. Also, most of these dupes are, like, kind of boring. They're not bad. They're just boring. Yeah, see, that's boring. It's powerful, but it's just... Ugh. I'm probably not going to keep it, because now we're at Treasure 4. And y'all know me. I don't want Treasure 4 at the end of this run. Like, that's a very boring enhanced inscription. The Dominator can be one of the best or one of the worst since he has the idea of a fan. That's true. <laughs> well, actually, I don't know. Because, like, how much um, how much autonomy does the fan have over the, the process? Also, this is a question for Autor. Do you want Reaper? Or do you want me to continue with uh, Minotaur? I don't mind either way. Wait till Hex reveals he was streaming guy the whole time. That would be the my worst nightmare. That Gambler first version was bad. I don't remember a lot about old Gambler. But like, it's just hard to say like how much autonomy they gave this guy. Probably a lot since it's a it's a patron thing, you know? He gave them a lot of money. Keep me know? Okay. But um, it's, I would imagine the person who designed this had a lot of say over it. But like, he probably didn't do the sprite work. He may have drawn up a concept for them. Who knows? But not everyone has artistic talent. So, like, 
it's possible that like they ju he just gave them the idea and they made everything else based around that Medusa, of course, I'm. You don't gotta tell me about Medusa. My autopilot sees Medusa, and it's like, hey, hey, yes. So that was that was a given. I was always gonna take that Medusa. Dominator looks good, but I have to say that I uh, personally don't think I will enjoy him. I mean, I think I'll enjoy anything. Like, I just like new content. Like, I still play King Arthur when I see him, even though I think he's weak. I still play champion when I see him, at least if I'm not like closely associated with a champion run. So, like, I'm just excited we're getting a new skull. And also I'm excited that there's new content being made at all. Like, it was kind of up in the air for a while if we were getting anything else. Uh, also, really good scenario. At least it's not really good, but it's fine. Um, I don't know what to get rid of though. I didn't expect this to turn into Sin. I guess if we're going Sin, we don't need physical damage. Also, God, my nose is itching me like crazy. I'm losing my mind. These allergies are horrible. Um. Wait, I have arms four? Maybe I don't want Sin. Magic Mino? What's my magic right now? They're, they're pretty close. If Dominator plays anything like the Skulls he looks like, he'll be in your favorite Legendary. I'm hoping he's good, because, like, I was so excited about um about King Arthur as, a, like, a new speed Legendary, and he was very disappointing. So, um, I think I'm not going to take... I don't know. Ah, It's so tough. I guess this could go. Yeah, you know what? That can go. But I don't know how long I'm holding on to this sin. We'll see. At least it's a good sin item. Like, how often do you see this freaking sin item? It's so rare. Also, that's why I love Medusa. Oh, it's like, oh, the game thinks it's going to punish me for getting caught by the Frieza? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Nah, 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 nah. I'm out. New physical boy will be cool, yeah. Let's let let's let this new um, speed legendary skull be a good one, please. Speed skull legendaries have had it too bad for too long. And also, let's make King Arthur good too while we're at it. Let's just make everyone good. No more bad skulls. Justice for speed legendaries. I think speed legendaries are going to be eating good. I I have reservations about him, but like, it's based around the evil sword, Kyrian. Like, it can't be bad. It just can't be. It's evil sword, man. It's evil sword on a skull. And then I'm going to put an evil sword on him. What up, Rabia? Hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing shockingly well. My voice is a little fucked up still, and I'm still recovering from the freaking nightmare sickness that I had and my face is itchy as fuck because of these allergies I'm losing my mind but um I don't know like I'm I, I feel good to be back I, I don't like missing a bunch of days of streaming it sucks it also is bad for channel growth so not only do I hate it but it's just objectively bad he has fire but I get it wait what do you mean Wait, are you are you saying you think he's magic, dog? Autor? Cuz <laughs> this is the most physical skull to ever exist. Like there's never been a more like straight up physically like this is a physical damage skull design that they've ever made until now. Like this is <laughs> he's he's physical. It's the evil sword skull. Wait, he's ulting? Oh no, we stopped him. Okay. Man, that guy was a trooper. He almost got it. She's going to get it. Wow. Okay, we're fine. 
Nah, he's mixed. <laughs> uh, nah. <laughs> nah. I'll eventually get lucky and be able to play a quest for you. I just have to wait. Need to get off early and from work on a Friday. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Rabia, do you know about the news? The new uh, skull coming out, as well as the uh, 1.9 update. Because not everyone's in the loop on Southpaw stuff, so it's always worth bringing up when someone who, uh, someone new who hasn't been here the whole time joins the chat. What do you think is the best ninja skill? Uh, the one where he throws the kunais. It's like the, the in-air skill, when he the one he casts when he's in the air and he throws the, the triple knives. That's the best one. Gotta go, bye, Hexa. Thanks for being here, King Connorski. Appreciate you. Have a good rest of your day. You're talking to the guy who said Hercules was speed. I remember that. <laughs> Could you put me up to a day? I used to wait for you or Bacchanada's video for news. Well, I'm uh, making a video tomorrow about it. But I'll link it to you in the chat. Because why the hell not? It's exciting time to be a Skull fan. Here you go. What, Autor? Also, don't call me Hexy. For love of God. Now everyone's becoming Sly Mighty Owl. Thank you much appreciated. You're welcome. The only one I made a mistake was Soldier, I think. I think I got most of them right. The one I was the most wrong on was um, the Spartan. I was very off base on that one. Um, and I think I, I called King Arthur a balance skull. But I was I was spot on for uh, for um, Thor. No, I said Thor was a speed skull, so I was wrong about that. I think those were the two I got mixed up. I uh, I said Thor was going to be a. Uh, that means I only got two right, so I was actually pretty off base. Um, I did not see a slave being a balance skull at all. Actually, don't be rude. What? I said Guan Yu was balanced. So wait, I got them all wrong. <laughs> the only one I got right was Hercules then. Which that one was like a given. <laughs> that one was obvious. Whoops. My bad. Did I do that? Uh, not good on uh, Bomber, so pass. Yeah, Slave was going to be power. I think I said he was going to be a speed skull. So. But, like, him being a balance skull was the last thing I expected. I don't remember right, but I think I got Guan Yu right. Ah, man. <clears throat> I, I think the thing that threw me off for Guan Yu is I didn't expect there to be two power skulls. And I was, like, very certain that uh, Hercules was going to be a power skull. At least they just told us this time that he's going to the uh what what's his name again? I keep forgetting it. <clears throat> Dominator? It's Dominator, right? But they told us he's going to be a speed skull, so that's nice. They just let us know. Yeah, Dominator. The new skull looks awesome. Fingers crossed the balance changes won't hit your favorite skulls. Well, who what are your favorite skulls? The balance changes are usually a good thing for the record. Like, most, almost always. Man, at this point, I think I can just ditch this sin. We don't need it. I'd rather have something like this. But my damage percent is low. Which is a problem. If I full stacked into magic, I think the run could maybe be better for it. So I can start ditching some of these. Let's keep Sin for a second. I think this settles it. I should start ditching some of these arms items. The BDSM skull? Who? Dominator? The fuck? The hell are you talking about? He's into some freak shit over there. Purely anecdotal, but whenever I want an easy win, I use Gravedigger. I don't think they're touching Gravedigger, dog. <laughs> Though, I I guess he could get nerfed. Uh, yeah, Gravedigger is incredible. He's one of my very 
consistent skulls that I always tell people is way better than they uh, probably realize. Like, a lot of people don't realize that Gravedigger is one of the best skulls in the game, even though he is. Um, so, yeah. I don't think he's getting touched, but maybe. It'd suck if he did. Where's all the stun, dog? Here's some stun. Oh, my good lord. Oh, for the love of God. Five gifteds from Savage Nymph. Thank you. Holy crap. Uh, Occam's Machete. Thunder, Thunder Q. Got it right that time. I am Apples, Pudding Boxes, and Andika. Thank you for the five gifted Savage. Oh, God, he's he's crazy. He's off his gourd with the freaking support. He's losing his ever-loving mind. There you go. Also, welcome to the chat. Um, Reliability Generator. Man, it's so late in the run to... Uh, to be going for to be changing course like this i might be killing my run here but also fuck it we ball savage the better oiler i like all my oilers an oiler is an oiler no matter how small Wait, I heard that. Man, I actually said it. What are you talking about? He fucking loses his mind. I don't trust this Ator guy. Slurp. Mmm, yummy run request for me. Well, you're not getting that shit then. I am Apples. Good for some chat. I didn't mean to call you guys out. You guys can lurk if you want. Um, I, I appreciate my lurkers as much as I appreciate my chatters. What is a stream without lurkers in it? Lurkers carry true. They actually do. Well, I don't know. Chatters are... It's an ecosystem, man. A miserable little pile of secrets. How does DOS keep dodging gifteds? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. He's like one of my most consistent viewers. He's in here all the fucking time. And he never gets a gifted sub. And then some person who came in here one time a year ago and hasn't even looked back. Doesn't even... Like, they haven't even thought of Skull the Hero Slayer. They haven't even played the Dark Mirror. They get a fucking gifted. Just when I was about to open my PC to check the request queue, you beat me to it. Ah... <sighs> I actually kind of want to just give it to Rabia. Because it's like... I don't know. I, but I also don't want to be mean to streaming guy. But like, the, the regulars in here are just... They're rabid, man. They always steal the run requests. You're the reason I got back into Skull? Cool. I'm glad. I've watched the YouTube videos since the beginning of the Dark Mirror. Wow. You've been here a while then. Since that was like my, around that time is when I got uh, monetized on YouTube. So that was like uh, a thousand subs. Cause that's the minimum. So you've been here for nearly 2000 subscribers. I always find it crazy when people like Lucas, I think is like a very early viewer of mine. If I'm not mistaken. People who showed up when I had like less than a hundred. Also, Sly gifted a sub to DOS. There we go. It'd be funny if it rejected it some for some reason and there was like hidden code in the fucking Twitch uh like browser or whatever, just to prevent him from having it. Wait, a hype train? Guys, no way! No way! Dude, get hype, guys! Get hype! It's gonna give you guys, like, five shitty emotes if we get to level five! The most cursed emotes you've ever seen in your life! All you gotta do is get to level five! 
I always find it crazy when I'm watching a streamer and they like start screaming at the peak of their lungs whenever a hype train comes on. Like they're way better at this than I am because I just don't got that dog in me. Like I can't pretend to be excited about this. I just can't. I don't, yeah, I, I, I'm. I'm. I don't know. <laughs> I can't do it. Um. No stun items, unfortunately. I didn't see the hand of the destroyer again. But I am trying to pivot away from my. Oh, an anonymous gifter is gifting one sub to. Ha oh, thank you, anonymous. It's probably Piplip. But also a shout to uh, Ziv Pika, because whenever a uh, Piplip supports me, he does it anonymously. It's funny. He's like, I can't let them know. I can't let them know. Thanks, anonymous. I don't like. I, it should be the default. It should be the default that your name is not given, for sure. Personal accounts will always show your name. That's so fucking stupid, man. Like, I don't know. Like, that's like... I will never work with PayPal ever again. Ever. Like... And th the thing is, they... It's not like they're even better than Twitch. They take a cut. They take a fucking cut from your donation. You don't value your privacy? I do. Like, I, I, I never knew this. They probably have it uh, that way for dumb reason, like, so you don't see it, uh, send money to the wrong people. I mean, the thing is, it's like, you can, like, pay, PayPal is, like, still very exploitable. Um, like, it's not like having the name there really stops you from getting scammed. Like, someone could just make a fake PayPal. It's not like they require you to send an ID in to make a PayPal or something, you know? It's not like that. You just fucking make a PayPal and call it, like, James Jameson. And it's still gonna be a valid PayPal. Did you guys get the Hype Train level 5, by the way? I didn't even notice. Like, I was just super fucking bummed out about the... The... PayPal thing. No, it's four. Well, I, <laughs> like, I think you guys still get rewards regardless. I don't know. I don't get hype trains. Uh, this is good. The problem is, like, when I, when I have a sin on a build, it just turns into a really tough situation for uh, fitting all the items I want to. It's possible I have to get rid of this. I'm on the hype train of Skull News. Me too. <laughs> and there... And those emotes look way more cringe than the level 3 emotes. Wait, do you... I think you still get all of them. Level 4 emotes? 2020 Shred? Why would you want to post 2020 emotes? Like, that was, that was, like, one of the worst fucking years. Like, that year sucked. <laughs> I don't want to remember 2020. Like, that's the last year I want to remember. What do I do for the second run? It's supposed to be a stun run, but I fucked up and passed some stun items, and now I'm not seeing new stun items. You know what? I'll get rid of this. Let's still see if we can make this stun happen. We can still do it if I can just find some stun. It's never too late. 2020 was an amazing year for you. It was like, maybe... I mean, I don't know. I had some good stuff happen to me in 2020. But, like, that's like the, you know, the, the first year of the pandemic. So, like, pretty, pretty universally horrible fucking year. But, like, 2020 is when, um... When I started, uh, working out consistently. So, that was a good thing. Like... You know, the pandemic both gaveth and taketh, I guess. Because <laughs> it gave me more free time to uh, to do more things. And if it wasn't for 2020 and the pandemic, I probably wouldn't be making YouTube videos, so. What's the most forgettable item? 
Um, I am trying to think of a common Pr prayer of grace. That's the that's the common um, mana cycle relic item, right? The uh, one that's like a. Uh, I used to call it toilet paper. Yeah, that one's very forgettable. It's not even like a horrible item, it's just boring. Also, I'm I'm remembering I took fucking Yeah, I oh man, I'm in trouble. I took uh the curse. Um I can't remember the name of it. Life change. That's that's why I'm not healing. That's why I'm taking a bunch of damage. Okay. I mean, at least we're getting a lot of damage off of it, but, like, I'm in trouble for this adventure. If it's, like, the Huntress, I don't think we're making it out of the hood no matter what I do. Health screening machine? It's memorable because it's terrible, though. Like, we're, if we're, we're talking purely forgettable, like, what is forgettable? I just remember health screening machine because it's, like, so bad that I can't even believe they made it. Whereas, like, something like Prayer of Grace is, like, it's not terrible, it's just not good. Oh! Oh, we have Torn Voodoo Doll! I forgot. Okay, I think I can make it. What the fuck? Oh my fucking god. Oh, you <laughs> you got me killed. Thank you for the 5,000 bits. I didn't even know what that noise was. Oh my god, today is insane. What is happening? Thank you so much for the support, man. What the fuck? I don't even know how much 5,000 bits is. Like, I don't... Is that $50? What is that? It's fifty dollars. Jesus Christ! That's thank you, man. What the hell? <laughs> Savage Nip's crazy, guys. He's lost his marbles. The man's gone mad. I mean, I'm glad I'm back today, man. Like, like after being out of it for a week, which sucks. Coming back to all the supports really nice. And it is a good time to be a skull enjoyer too, so. I don't know, it's gonna be a good week, I hope. And tomorrow's Elden Ring, so. We missed you, Pookie. I'll allow the Pookie just this once, because you've been an oiler today. But the real most forgettable item is actually is, uh, exactly, right? The fact that I said Prayer of Grace kind of Maybe it's not as forgettable as uh, as I was acting like it was. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of an item that's maybe Master Brawler, or um, the one that that is not Master. Yeah, I think it's Master Brawler, which isn't a bad item, but it's like it's just like Master Fighter's nasty cousin that you don't want to be around. The rake! The rake! Yes, that's it. That's like, that truly is the most forgettable item. Terrible fucking item. Like, Prayer of Grace is at least, like, decent. Like, the effect it has is good. Whereas, the rake is just, like, awful. I think that's the best possible answer. Uh, Cold Boots and Ice Scale Spalders. Yeah, those are also uh, very bad as well. I scale Spalders is also a contender because it's like, what skull is that even good on? Like, who the fuck is going to use I scale Spalders, man? It's not like. I, <laughs> I just. I don't understand. 3% amp for Pike? What, Spalders? Maybe I'm looking at it wrong then. Maybe, it, maybe it's more for the damage. That, but why does it have Freeze on it? Like, why does it have Absolute Zero? It's inscriptions are like bizarre. I guess if you want to play 
freeze pikemen it's a way to do it here's some a uh, good dizziness if i can just figure out where to fit it i have artifact five this loses quite a bit of damage percent but i think it's fine Yeah, it's fine. We we all have a life change, which makes it worth it. There were pauldrons. It's spalders. I thought they were pauldrons too, but it's I scale spalders, which I don't even know what a spalder is. I'm sure it's a thing. I just don't know what the fuck it is. The bleed one is eighty percent amps. Oh, that's so weird, right? Like that that makes no sense. We might yet get this stun build off the ground. If I can just find a good stun item to fit here. Oh, there. Okay. Dark Deeds. Not bad. Not bad at all. Although getting them on the build might be a little difficult. This could go. But I'm so close to Mutant 3. Streamer guys, shut the fuck up. Show name and dev menu? Wait, you guys don't believe me that it's Askel Spalders? Yeah. See? Zen? Uh, Zen's too important for... For, um... Actually, is it... Eh. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Zen can go. Like, we, we have decent met physical scaling. It's, like, not good, but it's not terrible. It'll work. And this is more of a bomber run than a minotaur run anyways. Oh yeah, I also need to fix my pedestal in the next shop. Very important that I remember that. But like, we're very powerful now. Justice served? What? Oh, this? Funny name? Wait, why is it funny? What's so funny? And it better be a good explanation. Or else. Man, we are getting so many healing orbs. Here's the thing, though. Do I farm Joan? I should have let them summon some enemies, actually. Has anyone wait, ever used Justice Served? Yeah, I use Justice Served. It's not a bad item. It's not a great item, but it's not bad. I bring it along on uh, on stun runs. The reason the pack is definitely among the best dash skulls is that... What do you mean? Of course he's among the best dash skulls. You can get items that amp all of his damage. I still think Gargoyle's the best uh, dash skull in the game, though. Like, no matter what. Like, Pikeman Shree's great. But dash runs aren't about the dash damage itself. It's about the item damage. So that, like, Gargoyle is just, like, a much better user of uh, dash items than uh, Pikeman is. I don't think I can farm. <laughs> I don't think there's any farming this. We'll just have to do the... Um the uh demon king castle defense and hope we get some healing orbs there but it's not like we have to max out our life change it's an act three life change that got to 21 or an act four life change even so that's pretty big dash damage adds up yeah but it's still like you know the items are the the main reason you build uh dash builds i'm not saying dash damage is bad it, it's it's good but it's not the reason for building dash Whoa. <laughs> what? She just exploded. Like she we turned her into a red mist, literally. Like, there was nothing left. Like, she just insta-died. I don't know why that happens. I think it's a, it's a bomber thing. I've never seen it on any other skull. It will be 22 because Joan. Oh, right, yeah. She got so hit so hard she disintegrated. I mean, we did blow up on top of her. 
it makes sense when you think about it. Um, this is good, but I don't think we need it. It's not better than this. Maybe. It could be better. Um, it does allow me to keep treasure. Which it matters for collection desire. Okay, let's do the math then. This is 85. And this is, I think, 50. No, 40. Plus 25. So, it's worse. But then you have the max HP consideration. Which we already have plenty of max HP. It's better than Voodoo? No, it's not. Well, not inherently. I guess it depends on how you value Artifact 4. Mm. And it also has plus 60 on it. Eh, you know what? Good point. The Voodoo doll served its purpose. Kind of. Not really, because I lost my reassembly anyways. But still... Yeah, artifact useful. Artifact four is not very useful, so. Good point. But now we have mutant four, <laughs> which isn't a big deal. It doesn't matter. It's just weird. Artifact six is great. No, it's not. <laughs> it's freaking horrible. <laughs> Now, Arm 6 is good, but Artifact 6 is not. What number run second? I guess I'm not taking a break today, which is fine. I got a late start. Alright, let's buy a uh, Stun 4. I think I'm going to go Mutant Enhanced and not Stun Enhanced on this run, because there's no real reason to enhance my stun. I don't care about the duration. I only care about the duration if I have uh, Armor of Fear, which I don't, so. Here's my kit. It's good. I like it. Um, bro, anyone here read Blue Lock That Shit Fire? What the fuck is that? Yeah, Artifact 6 Enhanced is like... It, you mean it literally didn't function? It could be a console glitch. It's functional, but it's not good. More Styler Skulls? What do you mean by that? Like, he looks good? Because, like, we can already tell he looks good. Or do you mean, like, kind of like with the Myths and Legends where they have released, like, weird concept skulls? Only shot regular meteors? The soccer manga that kind of blew up for, like, three seconds? I would not know anything about that. What up, Adith? New skull? Fucking sick. I like him. Big fan. Um, I do have some reservations uh, based on what I saw, but it's also just speculation. So it's not like I really know anything for sure. It's just like um, his basic attack seems kind of weird. Okay, this is a scary OSU, but we got through it. It's called football. I don't know. We're fucking Americans, dog. We call it fucking soccer. And God bless the USA. America! America! You better recognize... Oh, I missed. Oh, he got me out. Man, that fucking hurt, dude. Fucked up. Is he going to roar? No, he's going into phase two. What an absolute buffoon. Why am I running? I don't know. That's just a... Also, uh, hello, unstoppable. It's like, I don't even have to try on this build. This build plays itself. The classic bomber run with a uh, mutant omen. Like, no matter how many dumb mistakes I make, it none of it matters. 
Bloodfest is good, yes. Bloodfest is like the number one way to make bleed builds work. But it's also a curse, so you don't see it very often. That was a solid cough. And yes, I am talking about my cough. Piplip. What the hell is a kill kill um kill kill meter? That sounds scary. I don't like kill meters. This might look like a stun run, but in reality, it's just a bomber mutant run. <laughs> kind of true, honestly, but. Stop using feet to measure things. Americans, be normal challenge. It is impossible. We can't do it. Anyways, mutant enhanced. Uh, increased physical and magic attack by 25% and attack speed by 15% upon swapping. Maximum 125 for attack and blah, blah, blah. Has a 25% chance to refresh swap cooldown uh, upon swapping. I just wanted to read that for people who don't know. Because sometimes people don't. Also, I forgot to do Demon King Castle Defense. Whoops. We missed maybe potentially a healing orb. Time for everyone to talk about it only in the comments. Us Americans use anything to measure anything. Yeah. That there looks like three... That's about three slices of craft singles worth of a, of a measurement. By my estimations, that's like four uh, slices of craft singles. Also, Dark Skull is dead. Owie! Ow, dude, stop! Boom! Fucking die, dude. I actually gotta focus here, because this could easily kill the run. We don't have reassembly. That there's submersible in about three van lengths and two semi truck. Ah. <laughs> Over yonder that they're submersible. I I'd, I'd wager that's about about ten craft single slices high. Also, I'm a fucking moron. I meant to use a bludgeon there and I did. Okay, he's about to do his his ultimate move. Yep, there it is. The scary one. Sadly, it's looking like we're going to have to go through the Giga Ult, but I'm not really all that worried about it. Though, so if anything can kill the run, it's getting hit by this, uh, this Giga attack coming up. I'd say this is the only chance Dark Skull has to, uh, to kill me is what's about to happen. Damn, he came fast, dude. I almost wasn't ready. But almost isn't enough. You lose, I win. Oh! Oh! Ooh! <laughs> That's what I get for talking shit. Uh... I know it will be fun to dominate your enemies. That's what I get for talking shit. I was thinking, what if he flings on top of me? Dominator is definitely a funny name. Okay. Um, there's not too many options I even have here. What's stun? Oh, yeah, we're taking... Wait, but it's, it's only 35%. <sighs> I'm taking the tibia. Like, it's just worse. Gotta go to sleep. Good night. Thanks for coming, yo-yo. Enjoy your sleep. Talk shit, get hit. Uh, yeah. But, like, come on. Like, what the fuck else was any other option, guys? Because, like, 35%. The only reason the rib is good is if you have multiple statuses. This is just 50%. You have burn? Yeah, but actually, that is a good point. 
What's burn do? It's like magic increase, right? Okay, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> That's fair. It's pretty consistent burn too. I still don't think it's better than the fucking tibia, but at least it would have been something cool to take. But like, at least now I win. This skill... Oh my god, that's like the craziest typo ever. Um, skill cooldown? Oh, oh. Well then that sucks. Yeah, I'm... I mean, I don't know. It... It's not, like, bad, I guess. More bludgeons is good, but it's certainly not better than the fucking Tibia. But what is? I don't know. If I, if I had realized that, I probably would have taken the uh, rib before. Oh, my God, dude. We're fucking destroying this thing. Okay, I don't want to kill it that fast. Like that, it's Everything's going too fast, man. Oh my god! Insta fucking death, man. What are you gonna do when I come for you? Nice. Dude, Quinn it run? Uh, Tuesday maybe? DM5 Dark. Skull done onto DM6, and uh, I didn't even know you were climbing, but uh, good luck, man. Good luck learning the fight. I don't know what changes in Dark Skull's fight when you fight him at lower levels. Um, I imagine he just has less max HP. I can't remember if the Dark Hero is different as you fight him at lower levels. Is he different at lower levels? I think he is, right? Or... GG, thank you. That was a scary run at certain points, but pretty solid across the board. We pivoted it into a stun run at the end, which was cool. The run request fulfilled. The only thing that's missing is the hand of the destroyer, unfortunately, which I had the chance to take, but fucked up. So at least I got the dark beads. Are you sure? I remember him changing uh, at lower levels, but I, it's been a while since I fought low level dark hero or anything like that i only play dm10 cast the beads and okay i'm not finishing that sentence um good run across the board um i i, I what even made me lose my oh yeah it was the donation <laughs> and also i'm gonna have to edit out that segment where i'm freaking out about paypal because that shit let me make a note on my desktop because um that's not good to leave in the video Fucking dumbass fucking PayPal, dude. PayPal can suck a fat one for that. Show more options. Rename. Edit out PayPal. Fuck PayPal. Okay. All right. Uh, good run. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually think this run is cooler than the first run we did today. Pretty standard stuff, I guess. But like Kaboom Bomber scaling with the Mutant Omen is very powerful. Also, I never noticed this until now. But the Mutant Omen kind of has, like, a face on it. Am I tripping? Like, right here, do you see it? Can you guys see my mouse? Like, it almost looks like a moth. It's the moth, man. You're tripping? No, I'm not. Someone else has to fucking see it. You're going insane? No! Yeah, see, Lucas sees it. Lucas sees it. It looks like an eagle. That's also fair. It, you could say it's an eagle. You could say it's a moth. But it's a face. It's an idol. Fair. But I still never... But also, like, it's like a... You could also say this is its face. Actually, I think that's probably what it's supposed to be. Like, these are the eyes. And this is like a crown. You see what I mean there? Don't lie. You guys fucking see it. They see it, guys. YouTube chat, they see it. They're just try they're just goofing. Actually, move on. Don't tell me what to do. But he's right. I should move on. Uh, <laughs> I 
I mean, typical Twitch outro, right? Like, it's it. There's a charm to it, undeniably. There's a charm to it. Um, but yeah, good run. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. A little touchy. I mean, I I lived at one HP basically against Dark Skull, so you know, very qu- almost very close to becoming a Doubter W, but not quite. So yeah, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all, and I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.